All right, everyone. Welcome back to the channel, folks. Let's dive into the exciting world of NFL updates. The Detroit Lions, already ranking among the top five teams in the NFL, have shown remarkable improvement during the offseason. Despite some tough releases like Cam Sutton, the Lions are on the rise. And guess what? They're not done yet. Free agency has been kind to them. With signings like DJ Rear and Kevin Ziller, along with a trade for Carlton Davis, their new cornerback sensation. Adding players like Aik Robertson and Marcus Davenport further strengthens the team. Brad Holmes, the Lions' general manager, couldn't be happier. He's quoted saying, This has been our best free agency period yet. Their strategic planning paid off, landing all their top targets. It's a rare win in the NFL. With key acquisitions like Davis, Rear, and Slur, the Lions are poised for greatness. And let's not forget, they still have four top 100 draft picks. Remember last year's draft? The Lions nailed it with stars like Jack Campbell and Jeer Gibbs. Their future looks bright. Despite setbacks like the Sutton release, the Lions' offensive line remains a force to be reckoned with. Kevin Zoller's addition only bolsters their strength. Now, about that sudden release, let's just say it wasn't ideal. But hey, with players like Davis and Robertson stepping up, the Lions are resilient. Dan Campbell, the Lions' head coach, isn't dwelling on setbacks. He's already looking ahead with plans to bolster the quarterback position in free agency and the upcoming draft. So, Lions fans, buckle up. The ride isn't over yet. Let's keep the support strong and aim for 500 likes on this video. We're in this together, roaring with pride for our Detroit Lions. I really believe the Lions might lean towards bolstering their offensive line, but with the unexpected release of Cam Sutton, cornerback seems like a priority in the first round of the draft. However, let's not overlook the strength of the Lions' offensive line. Last season, they boasted one of the most effective run games in the NFL and allowed the fourth fewest sacks. Pairing up new addition Zettler with the re-signing of Graham Glasso could make Detroit's offensive line the envy of the league. Despite losing pro bowler Jonah Jackson, they might even be better this season. Ziller brings consistency and reliability to the table. As for the quarterback situation, there are veteran free agents available and knowing Brad Holmes, he'll make a move if the price is right. Even if they don't, and instead focus on re-signing Josh Reynolds, I believe the Lions' defensive backfield is still in decent shape. Sure, they could use some help at safety and more depth at cornerback, but players like Brian Branch and Jack Campbell have shown promise. Branch, in particular, had a stellar rookie season, showcasing his versatility across different positions on the field. Looking at available cornerbacks in the market, Xavier Howard stands out as the top option. With an impressive career record, including 29 interceptions and 95 passes defended, Howard could be a valuable addition to the Lions. Reports suggest he's willing to take a pay cut to join a contender, making Detroit a possible destination. And let's not forget about Emmanuel Mosley, who, despite a season-ending injury, remains a potential asset for the Lions' secondary. As with wide receivers, you can never have too many defensive backs on your roster. The more options, the better. With the release of Cam Sutton, Detroit's strategy for the first round seems clear. Focus on bolstering the cornerback position with pick number 29. While they also have two third-round picks, there's a possibility they might trade up for a standout cornerback given the depth in this year's draft class. The wide receiver situation is intriguing, too. Brad Holmes has emphasized the priority of re-signing Josh Reynolds, suggesting he'll likely return to the Lions. Looking at potential breakout candidates, Players like Amon Ra St. Brown and Sam Lorta are names to watch out for. Jamison Williams could also shine in his third season, while sleeper picks like Antoine Green show promise with impressive college stats. Despite DPJ's modest performance last season, his potential remains high, 
especially considering his previous stats. While there's been speculation about drafting a top-wide receiver in the first round, the team's focus seems to have shifted towards strengthening the defensive backfield. The release of Cam Sutton solidifies this shift in focus towards cornerback in the first round. However, the wide receiver situation remains worth monitoring, particularly if Reynolds doesn't return. Regardless, the Lions are in a good position with one of the strongest rosters in the NFL, poised for success in the upcoming season. As always, Lions fans, your thoughts and predictions on the team's moves in free agency and the draft are valuable. Let's keep the discussion going and stay tuned for more exciting updates. Don't forget to like and subscribe for daily NFL content. Go Lions!